We're watching a live image of Marine One. There are usually two. This looks like the one that is going to land on the south lawn of the White House. There are always two, but this looks like the one getting ready to land there on the south lawn. It will transport the president to Walter Reed Medical Center, um, where Dr. Hotez at the beginning of this hour said he'd feel a whole lot better if Donald Trump went to. Dr. Hotez, are you still with us? Nicole, thanks. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, no, I think this is the uh, appropriate uh, move to make. Uh, this is the way to ensure that the president will get all, all of the best care possible. Look, let's face it, uh, Nicole, he's sick. He's got fever. Uh, he has all of the risk factors that uh, are suggestive of uh, severe morbidity and, and mortality. Uh, you can use euphemism saying he's low-grade fever. He has fever. He has fever. He's sick. He needs, he needs uh, a higher level of care. He's requiring uh, monoclonal antibody treatments. It's an experimental treatment. We don't have a lot of experience with it. I, I endorse that treatment from Regeneron. I think it's a, the right uh, uh, monoclonal antibody cocktail to take. If, if I were sick, I would want that cocktail. So I think medically, uh, the team is, is making the right moves. And the only piece that puzzled me all, all day today is why are they trying to manage this in the White House with, with IVs and everything else? This is not the best care for the President of the United States. So bring Bringing him to Walter Reed, where he can uh, uh, get a higher level of supervision, monitoring for oxygen levels, which could be so precarious uh, with this disease, monitoring for thrombotic events, and, and God forbid, uh, should he take a turn for the worse, uh, there, there's a team there ready to provide more intensive uh, measures. So it's this this needed to be done, and it needed to be done now, Nicole. You don't want to start doing this in the middle of the night.